My name is Hugh, and it's a great introduction there. Thank you so much, Renee. I want to thank you all, Investor Inspiration, for this amazing opportunity to present, uh, you know, seven, seven people, um, you know, on one bill, which is absolutely exciting. So uh, I hope, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you choose, folks, I hope you uh, wish you all the very best in your trading. So whether you, whether you go with this or not, and there's a lot of great stuff coming your way. So anyway, uh, my, my presentation here is actually very simple. Make money the old-fashioned way, buy low, sell high. Um, I know it's a real concept, isn't it? But with with, with you know, without what's out there in the world, it's actually very difficult to do that. And I don't know why, as humans, we tend to complicate things. But we're going to get into this, and I'll show you a couple of really cool um, uh, strategies I use every day to make some serious money on the market. Uh, and again, my name is Hugh. Uh, there's a, there's a picture of me. That's uh, before when I had brown hair. And then my 23 uh, year old daughter thought she'd get on the plane and go to Thailand for a year. Then my hair went silver. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and now I'll uh, I'll be happy if there's any left because now she took a year and then now she's in Peru for a year. So anyway, neither here nor there. A bit of a background on uh, on, on myself. I, yes, I used to be an internal auditor, and I actually came up through the trenches with this whole thing. In fact, I was forced to because, uh, like the good salaried uh, employee, I used to hand over a lot of my money, good chunk of my money to my financial guru back in the day to invest for my retirement. And then by the time I realized uh, where where things were going, I had lost about a, you know about half of my uh, of my my savings, and I was quite concerned about that. And uh, I called my broker and said, "Hey, what's going on?" And he's trying to keep me in the account and keep my business and everything else and uh, and all that. So uh, we had some words, and I essentially told him to just cut me a check for whatever is left. Obviously, I have to learn how to do this myself. Certainly can't be rocket science if if he's doing it, and I, I can lose the money just as easily as he is. So I figured it would take the rest of my life just to get even as to what he lost for me. So that's exactly what I'd done, and I'd uh, you know I, I started learning things. I I got a lot of courses. I'd uh, you know looked at all the DVDs and books and eBooks and on and on, just like everybody else. And I was I was trading. I was making some money. I was looking at equities. I had. Uh, toyed with futures and Forex, but I kept coming back to options. And eventually, I figured out a few things that actually were really working very well for me. Now, along the way, of course, I had um, you know some pretty good success stories, but I had some fortunes, I lost some fortunes too. All right, there's no secret, there's uh, there's a lot of money to, to lose along the way to, to, to your training. But I always wanted to take away a lesson, every time, especially on the losses, I always wanted to see what Okay, what, why did I get into this trade? What, what could I have done differently? Uh, what could I have done to correct this trade? What, well, what is it that I I should be looking at? And uh, and after a while, you just start doing things the right way, and you start doing things the wrong way less and less. Eventually, you kind of get to see what's working, and and it's, it seems to be working very well. So this whole business aspect actually started quite by accident because I started bringing home you know all the toys. <laughs> Lots of vacations, new cars, new house, new airplane. And my friends, family, associates, neighbors say, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm trading options. Okay, well, you got to show us. All right, well, you got to teach us. And before I knew it, this website just uh, appeared, which is actually called daytradespy.com. And here we are now. We're in our eighth year doing this. So I think we're doing something right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I want to show you some, some things here, getting back on the um, – uh, the path as to where we are. That's my background. Do I have trading floor experience? No. Although I was at the Chicago uh, board once. I visited that, and it was pretty exciting. But no, I don't have that kind of experience. Uh, but I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to trading spy options every day. Okay? I will say this. I know what I'm talking about. And I got to tell you, too, along the way, I quit maybe, I don't know, a dozen or more times. <laughs> you know how it gets you. Blow your account. I say, okay, we're done. We're done. But, you know, I always think that once a trader, always a trader. It's in your blood. You can't, you just can't escape it because you know, you know that there's money in this business. And when you know something, it's very hard to evade it. You can hide. You can run, but you can't hide. Is that the same? Two key factors that always kept me coming back into this business. And I call it a business because that's exactly what it is. I did not treat this as a hobby. It's a business. Number one, the charts. I would always look, I would spend hours and hours and hours studying charts, studying charts. And I always say, look at that. Uh, by this time, I'd already been doing SPY. One stock, one strategy, okay? 
Uh, but I would look at it, say, look at that. Every day it seems, every day, or at least every couple of days, spy moves up and it moves down. How profound, right? But I always knew too that because of the huge leverage of options, I don't need it to move up a lot. All right, I don't need it to move up a lot. I don't just need it to move a little bit, either up or down. And you know, to make some serious money in the market. The other thing I looked at all the time were the uh, option chains. I would spend hours and hours. <clears throat> excuse me. My my wife would think I'm crazy. So what are you doing? I'm staring at options. I'm staring at options. I'm staring at option chains. Both calls and puts. This is just a screenshot of yesterday's calls and puts. This actually calls. Yesterday's calls. Same thing with puts. Same same idea. I'd be looking at the differences between the lows and the highs of the day. All the time after the markets would finish up, I would look at the differences between the lows and the highs. And here it is yesterday, you know, rather, um, you know, I guess it meant a typical day. It wasn't anything, you know, out of the ordinary. It was all just very typical. It would, you know, you, you would see these these amazing moves that would some at some point during the day there'd be a, a low of 11 cents and a high of 35, a low of six cents and a high of 18, three cents, 12. There's, there's three times the high as there is the low. And those options here, same over here, you know, huge, huge, anyway, from two to, and, and this is really, a, I, I don't know, I don't want to call it a non-eventful day, but it was certainly not nothing that was out of the out of the ordinary. It was just an ordinary day with trading, and you see this all the time. You see it all the time. Huge gaps in the lows and the highs. So I'm thinking in my mind here, let me see, there's like a 300%, roughly 2 to 300% difference between the lows and the highs. I'm only looking to make 6 to 8%. Should this really be that hard to do? Are you kidding me? I should be able to do this by accident in my sleep. Why is it that the figure I hear thrown around is 95% of traders lose their money and they're out of the business in the first year of trading? How can that be? How can, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So eventually I learn what works and what doesn't. Now, we, folks, we, we day trade SPY options. That's it. One stock, one strategy, one hour a day for 5%. The reality is actually we make quite a bit more. But I say 5% just to make it a little more believable. Now, most traders, <clears throat> excuse me, most traders buy high and sell low. I mean, that's... I don't want to say the word fact because I don't like to use superlatives, but I know that if 95% of the traders uh, fall out of this business in the first year, that's probably why. <laughs> they kind of got it in reverse. You're supposed to buy, you know, buy low and sell high, right? But I found out why they, why it's like this, for at least for a lot of people. Um, we do a lot of um, a lot of training, a lot of mentoring and coaching, and. Uh, Several years ago, I had this one gentleman from New Jersey, Mike, really good guy, really, really funny kind of a guy. And uh, he went through the course, and he actually became a very, very good trader. He's very good. He's making a lot of money. He's, he's doing gangbusters. And and, uh, and then off, you know, off he goes, right? You know, we're finished, right? So off, off you go. He's making money. Well, a while later, he, he contacts me. He said, Hugh, it's not working anymore. He said, what's not working, Mike? He said, well, your strategy. I said, that's odd because it's kind of working for me. I, what, what are you doing wrong? What you, so we kept going back and forth, back and forth, and trying to trying to figure out what's what's going on. <laughs> Why is this not working for him? And eventually I said to him, um, I want you to tell me every single thing you see on your screen, everything. I, I don't, you know, everything. I need to know, you know, even the time and date, everything. And and he tells me, and he had all these other indicators now, I, I just threw this up there. I just did this this morning. I have no idea what all those other indicators were. I stopped listening after about, you know, two minutes of all this stuff he's going on and on about. Um, but I'm just giving this to you as an example. I'm, I'm using Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim, uh, for which I thank uh, for, for letting us use their charts and stuff. But, you know, last I saw there was something like 240 indicators you can pull up with Thinkorswim, and I'm sure there's a lot more now, plus all the drawings, you know, um, and, and now maybe they work for some people, but I knew exactly when Mike started talking to me about this. I knew exactly. I said, Mike, where'd you get all those indicators? He said, well, my friends told me about this. And my friend told me about that and on and on. I said, I think I know exactly what's going on. I said, what's that? I said to him, you're probably waiting until all these indicators line up the way you think they should. 
and then you place the trade, right? He said, well, yeah, isn't, isn't more of the better? I said, no, actually it's not. I said, because what's happening now is you're getting into the end of a trend. The trend is your friend until it's at the end, and I see exactly what's going on. By the time all those indicators line up, that, that trade is over, if there even was one in there. I said, I want you to get rid of every single thing except what I taught you to put on your charts. Throw it all in the East River. It's garbage. You don't need it unless you want to go that path and then get rid of my indicators. I don't care. But if you want to make money, you'll listen to what I tell you. If you want to know all about the stock market, there's a lot of places you can go to find out all about the stock market. In fact, you don't even have to pay for it. Go to Investopedia. They'll give it all to you for free. All right? And if that's what you want to do, folks, go for it. But if you want to know how to make money, this is where you need to be. That's what I told Mike. And guess what happened? He removed all those other indicators, and yes, he started to make some money again. He, he simplified it. He brought it back into its simplest forms. And if this is what's kind of bothering you, you need to strive to simplify. Dump anything that is not relevant. All right? And through our course, we teach you only what is relevant. At least, let's put it this way, what works for me. I'm sure there are many, many, many strategies out there that work. And if they work for other people, more power to them. But this is what works for me, and I do very, very well trading stock options on the S&P 500. All right, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to show you a couple of very simple strategies that's going to earn you some pretty serious money if you just pay attention to this right now. Number one, this is this morning. Here it is. This, this happens every day. October 31st, right here at the top. This is from, um, from Thinkorswim, SPY. If I look at the 15, I get the I got the fifth. Actually, yeah, this is the five-minute chart here. Sorry, the five-minute chart right here. If you look at the five-minute chart, and it's trending down here in the last little while, just as it's opening up, it's trending down. It's breaking away. This is the MACD I'm looking at down here, the one in the little circle on the on the right. If it's breaking down, it's breaking away from its slow line, and um, and then uh, it's it's under the slow line. It's it's under the uh, um, there you go. I'm sorry, I have to just dump that phone. The market's coming down here. All right. Already it started in pre-market. This is a longer term trend. Actually, if you do if you do it on a 50-minute chart, it's even a little bit better if you're going longer term. 50-minute chart. As long as it's going in this direction, go over to your one-minute chart. As soon as the market opens and the market's going in your direction right here, which is which is what it was doing this morning, don't hesitate. Get in at the market open. I'll give you a tip. Do not use a market order at the market open because you may have to wait a few seconds for the bid ask spread to settle. By that I mean until they tighten up to within a couple cents of each other. That is if it's under a dollar. If it's over a dollar, no more than five percent apart. Okay, because the price needs to get its um, its its grip, right? And do not use a market order. If you use a market order, you could end up paying too much for it. Use a limit order. I know with Think or Swim, it'll give you the limit order or or market, which is the which is the, the which will be the better price for you. Okay, it'll give you the better price. So if you if you, now you have a longer term trend, MACD breaking apart, that means the trend is coming to the downside. And on a short term one minute chart, it's coming to the downside right here. Even before 9:30, it was coming down. Just get in at the beginning. What would have happened here if you got in right here? Well, here's where the market went. This is actually very much on the short term, before even 10 o'clock. Here's what would have happened. This here is a chart of the option itself. This is a chart of the option itself, okay? And this morning already, if you got it near the beginning, let's say you didn't even get it the low. Let's say you got it somewhere in the middle. From 70 cents to at least 85 cents, and I believe it went even, uh, the option went even higher. But right here, even before 10 o'clock, you could have picked up well, let's put it this way. There was a potential 21% profit. Potential 21% profit before most people get their first coffee break. That's on the put side. Okay? It's not that difficult making money on the stock market. I actually did place two trades this morning. All right? I just placed two trades this morning. Um, the first trade was, uh, from, well, here it is right here. The first trade was at 9.31, and I got in, I bought the uh, puts, the 257 puts, and these were the ones that are going to expire a few days out, 
November the 10th. I think that gives me, what, about eight days, eight or nine days or something. So I bought some safety, all right? I bought some safety in there. Uh, I got them for $1.17, and I sold them for $1.25, and that was in 23 minutes, 9.31 to 9.54. So I'm showing you right here a screenshot of my actual trade. This was actually while I was on live trading with the pros. This is actually one of our services that we do. We get together every Tuesday and Thursday morning. We have done 642 of these already now in our eighth year with Bird, Bob, and myself. Bird is actually on a cruise, so he was doing it from the cruise ship somewhere in the Bahamas. And <laughs> this is what this is what trading does to you, folks. It, it allows you freedom to, so you can come and go wherever you, you do whatever you want. Uh, and by the way, I can't think of a better business. I can trade whenever I want, wherever I want. I've traded in ski chalets. I've traded on the beach in Mexico. I've traded on cruise ships. I've traded in airport lounges, hotels. They've even traded in coffee shops using my cell phone. I mean, you know what it's all about. With options, it's just absolutely incredible. So I got in here right at 930, right when the market was going down, that very strategy I was telling you right here about. And I bought it for $1.17. And I just put it up for sale for locked in 6%. And, uh, and I picked up 6.8%. I couldn't change my order fast enough. It's funny because while we were doing these sessions here, uh, I was just sitting chatting it up with everybody, right? And then when I saw the market going down, 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 I went in to try to change my uh, my put order, my sell order to a little bit higher. But before I knew it, it took me out for $1.25. Well, I'll tell you something. If I'm not happy with picking up 6.8% in 23 minutes, I should probably go see a shrink, right? Just give this some thought for a second. If you only make 5% net every day trading once over the course of one month, you could say, what do you do, 20 trades, 20 trades? You just doubled your money in a month. Believe me, it's not that difficult making 5% a trade. It's really not that difficult at all. So I picked up the 6.8%. Then my, using the indicators I used, the market reversed. I talked to um, talked to the people in, uh, in the live trading with the pro session. I said, okay, I think it's reversing. Uh, it's it's going to go back up. And uh, I think we've seen the worst of it. So we were in that session till about 1030. And then we wrapped it up. I went to go uh, warm up my coffee. By that time, I was on my third cup. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, I got to pull back on that, that's for sure. Uh, and then we got into another session with uh, my trading room. I've got another bunch of people. This is more of a trading session, used trading room. And this is where we actually get right into, it's just myself teaching people uh, exactly what's going on. I look at the news. I look at how people interpret the news, the pundits. I look and see how people are interpreting the pundits. I, I look at the various technical indicators. I look at everything that uh, I need to assess, all right, which way the market is going. See, that's what I look at. I look at, even though the market at that time this morning was going down and things look pretty dim, pretty dismal, as a matter of fact, on the inner circle, uh, I have this thing called the inner circle, which is where I post every morning what I'm looking to trade. Here it is right here. I talked about, uh, that's not it. Is that it? No, that's not it. Hang on a second. Let me just pull it up here. Okay. All right. You know what? I, I'll just pull this up here for a second. I talked this morning here about um, where I thought the market was going to go at, um, and, and, I, and, I, and I explained this just after 9 o'clock. So it's a flash assessment as to where I believe the market's going to go uh, in the morning. And, and I wrote, look, at the, this all is just a very brief synopsis here, just a couple couple uh, sentences here. It was another pre-market spike, but my technicals were in conflict, heading into the opening bell. Uh, I talked about high-impact news item at 10 o'clock. That was actually, I think, a PMI report or something, you know, sorry, consumer confidence report. But based on the balance of probabilities, I can see perhaps a push up to 257.30 then a downward draft to the mid to upper 256s before long. Definitely a spooky feeling when you consider the futures were all up. I also give some support and resistance numbers, and I tell you what I'm looking to do. I'm looking for the put side this morning for modest 6% profit. So when I say that, that's kind of where I'm looking at going first thing in the morning as the market opens. I was looking at the puts, and that is exactly where I had gone with the puts right there. Okay. So um, I got into the puts, and I picked up 6.8%.
And then when the market reversed, uh, so I got back into the trading room. That was at 11 o'clock. And again, it took me a few minutes. We we're just chatting it up and, uh, you know, discussing the events of the day. And, you know, I think we we're talking a little bit about Halloween or something. I'm not sure. But, you know, looking at all the market uh, scenarios, where where's the market going? Uh, it's interesting to know where the market is or where it has been, but what's really important is where, where it's going. They once asked that hockey great, uh, the great one to call him, uh, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, and for those who don't know and don't follow hockey, and I'm not a big hockey fan, but I happen to know that Wayne Gretzky is by far the best hockey player like ever. <laughs> okay, and, and, and nobody comes close. And they interviewed him once, and he was so gracious to give his, his, his secret. He said, well, I skate to where the puck is going. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not to where it is, to where it's going. And that's the way we look at the market. We want to see, well, where is it going? And given all of the uh, the various inputs that we use to determine that, we had determined that, you know what, the market's going up. It's going to go up. Um, now, I don't have it on the charts here, what I consider what I call the yellow brick road, but this is a prediction as to where the market is going. And uh, and we had it going uh, up to that point where I, I got in and um, and I made some some money on that. So got in at eleven thirteen and I was out four minutes later. Got into the calls two fifty seven fifty calls for sixty cents. In four minutes, picked up six point seven percent. That was in the trading room. I will say this: those were the November third expiration options. Okay. Now the reason the reason I did not buy time there, and somebody asked me this morning on that session, why didn't you buy time? Why would you buy something that's going to expire right away? I said the answer is because where I had placed my indicators as to where SPY is likely going to go, I felt very, very, very confident. Not exactly sure I would stake my life on it, but I was very confident, 98, 99% sure it was going to go up to that point. And there was ample room in that trade for me to get my 6% profit again. That's, that's my goal. So for that reason, I felt confident enough that I'm going to buy something with a shorter expiration. You see, in this business, time is insurance. Time is insurance. If you want to buy safety, you buy time. But I did not feel the need to, to do that in this particular case because I was so confident in the trade. And in fact, I said it so fast to these people that I had to go back after I placed the trade. I had to review the trade to explain exactly what I'd done because there wasn't much time in which to just um, to, to uh, explain it all away and then actually miss the trade perhaps. It was moving just that fast. So I got in at 11.13, about the 257.50 calls for 60 cents, immediately put it up for sale for 60, uh, 64 cents, grabbed that 6% profit in there at least. And before I had a chance, once again, to change my sell order because I wanted to inch it up uh, to, to a higher number, it took me out, and that was in four minutes, actually about three and a half minutes, for another 6.7% profit. And I was in the trading room. Total for the day, folks, do the math, 13.5%. We were done by 10.45. Sorry, I'm lying to you. 11.17. We're done by 11.17. All right, and that's just the way it works. And that's the way it works kind of like every day. All right, I'm gonna show you another really cool, this is another really cool kind of a trick I like to use. Uh, uh, once again, I have the five minute chart on the, uh, on the right and the one minute chart on the left. Again, just keeping it very, very simple. We don't need all those indicators and it's not to discredit anybody else who may use those indicators, but I know for me, this is the way it works the best. For my temperament, my personality, my goals, my aspirations, my, you know, my style. Everybody's going to have their own style of trading. You might be more inclined to go with longer term swing trades, and that's fine. You might want to trade stocks, and that's fine. Uh, but with the leverage and moves of SPY, if you can just get that direction and momentum, a little bit of strength in there, which is all that stuff that we teach, uh, believe me, you're going to do way, way, way more than you'll ever probably do on your own. Um, at least cut the learning curve by going through some of the stuff that we learned, and I'll show you what happens here. On the five-minute chart, and then, by the way, this was yesterday's. Even though it's showing here October the 31st, this was actually yesterday's. Uh, 
Uh, I think depending on where my cursor is, that's that's where the date is going to show up on this thing. So this is actually showing today's date, but this was actually, if you go back, you can see that this is actually yesterday's chart. Getting into the uh, opening bell, we were sitting in this narrow range in here, somewhere between, oh my goodness, I don't have the numbers here handy, but you know, obviously somewhere around 257 and a half, uh, five cents up to about 257.21 or something. So I draw in these uh, support and resistance lines in the pre-market going back to roughly eight o'clock, going back about an hour, hour and a half, right? And uh, and obviously, the more you know, the closer we are to the opening bell, right here at 9:30. The dark gray is into live trading hours, and the, the lighter gray is pre-market. I know some people don't like to uh, to have the pre-market on there, but I think that'd be kind of like putting your head in the sand. I like the pre-market. So I draw in my support and resistance lines on the five-minute chart. Then at the first sign that we are breaking up through either support or resistance line where the, uh, where the candle actually looks like it's going to close, that's the direction I'm going to go. So there's the decision. Now right here at 935, don't forget each of these candles on the chart on the right represents five minutes of time. This chart here, the, the chart on the right, the five minute did poke down under support but it did not close. I'm only looking at the bodies, did not close. I mean, if there's one, one share that traded for down there, you're gonna get this tail, right? But when this candle closed, it closed over that support, so we don't count that candle. It's just not, it's just not gonna be there. And as it turned out, uh, on the one minute chart, right at the beginning, it did go down to whatever that is, around 257, slightly under 257. And then it reversed quickly and ran back up. By the way, there's another little tip here for you. On a five-minute chart, when you see a tall tail like that, it's going up. <laughs> okay, it's going up. That means the bulls are very strong. They want to keep this afloat, and they want to they want to raise this 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 price. So then, what happens is this: I'm looking for the first the first um, break out of supported resistance. Turns out, in this case, it was through resistance right up here through resistance. And I uh, got into this thing here, right around here. Around 9.35 or so, picked it up, ran it up right in this brief period here. Never mind the rest of the day. Rest of the day, you would have made a fortune. But even in this very brief period here, you could have made some pretty serious money. Enter on the breakout. Where is it? Enter on the breakout of support or resistance. That's where you're going to enter. When the one-minute chart is going up like this, actually, I should say, after the breakout of on the uh, on the five minute chart, you really need to sort of look at that. But when you see the stock moving up with such such force, all right, even when there is going to be a pullback, and you know there is going to be one, it's not a matter of if it's when, because markets do not go in a straight line forever. They're going to go up, they're going to pull back, they're going to re you know retract a little bit and bounce around. And they, but when you see something like this, one, two, three, four, five, I mean these are strong candles on the one minute chart. They're going up. Just get in. You've already gone through resistance. You know, if you're very fortunate, you're going to make your profit within a couple minutes of the trade, and then you're going to be done for the day. All right? What I do is I have a goal in mind, and when I'm done, I'm done, and then I make the market my slave, not me the slave to it. That means I'm able to go and do whatever I want to do the rest of the day. That's how I make money. See, I think there's two components to success on the stock market. One is making money, which a lot of people can do. The other one is keeping it. And I find that in talking to people, that's that's the hard part, trying to keep the money. I can tell you stories about that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so so you want to get in. That's 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 what we got. Break out of support and resistance. Very simple concepts. There's, there's no there's no rocket science here. So here's the chart of the option, the 257.50 calls right at the breakout. Would have got in here right at the beginning, and this baby ran up from uh, 69 to 79, even cheaper. Could have got it cheaper. There's another potential 14% profit. This is just, this is by 940. All right. I'm sure if you have the charts up here for yesterday, it went a lot higher than this. You could have made a fortune. This is on the 257.50 calls. Yesterday, just curious, 257.50 calls. Let me just see if I can find this up here. Hang on a second. Just. Uh, where did I have it? 257 calls. Or was it here? 
Two, okay, I, you know, unfortunately, I don't have the actual strike price here, so I can't tell you where they where they went. But uh, it wouldn't surprise you if it was, you know, if there was a fortune to have been made on those. In fact, I'm I'm sure of it. So that's one strategy right there that is absolutely amazing. I love this one. You could have had, and if you're going for only a six percent profit, well, there's your your second trade of the day type of thing there, right? Actually, the first trade, and then the one that I showed you earlier. So here you have two two great golden opportunities to make some serious money. Again, look at the five minute MACD, MACD, moving average convergence divergence. Match it up with your one minute, get in on the open, and then put it up for sale for, for a 6% good to cancel order. Sit back, let the market work its magic. Second trade is just wait for these breakouts, and, uh, and, then, and, then, and then trade that as soon as it breaks out, get in, don't hesitate, and, uh, and go make your money. Both of those trades, folks, double-digit daily returns before your morning coffee break. You want to do that all day? If you aim for 6 to 8%, give the broker a few points for his troubles, you're still going to double your money in less than 30 days. How cool is that? This is what we do. Okay. All right. And the question, of course, I get all the time is, seriously, can this be done? I didn't know I can day trade spy options. I get this all the time. The answer is a resounding yes, absolutely, absolutely. Folks, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we do. And then if you want, we can take some questions from the audience. I don't know if there are any questions. Uh, you should have the questions uh, box up in the uh, on your GoToWebinar dashboard, just click on that. And I think the questions box comes up. Put your comments and questions in on there. I will tell you a little bit about what we do, daytradespy.com. This here is our website, okay, daytradespy.com. Let me just go to the home page. And uh, it's actually not that difficult making money on the stock market if you know how. And we teach you how. So this is, this is the basis of, of everything is on here. You'll find everything on here. Our approach is different. Okay, we do take a little bit different, uh, a different approach, and we do post our results. In the recent results, we actually have a couple, a couple things that we post up here. One is the pick of the day, and the other one is this launch pad, which, of course, I'm, I'm not going to get into all this and confuse everybody because there's a number of services and products that we offer, and I'm going to tell you about a couple of those in a little bit here. But that is the uh, website, okay, that we're talking about here, Day Trade Spy. The nice thing is what I like is this. Now, by the way, I've done all these things. I've done the spreads. I've done the long terms. I've done all that stuff, all right? And we are different because we don't do spreads. We're not going to be in these things long term, all right? Long term is great, uh, but you're, you're watching them. You're worried about them. You have sleepless nights. If they turn against you, you're always... You're always concerned about them. Same with spreads. You ever been in a spread and, and my goodness, you know, uh, you have to worry about it at the end of the month or at the end of the term. You might have to roll out into the next strike price or roll out into the next month. And at the end of it all, they're so excited because they just made 5%. Really? No long-term holds. You ever, been in a, you ever been in a trading room where, you know, you are assigned, oh, look, you, you know, you, you, here's your sector. Look for stocks in your sector. Look at them the night before, check them all through, uh, go down and uh, and see what you know where, where the potential is for the next day, where the markets are going, where the earnings are, and all these things that you have to look at. So you find yourself spending hours in front of the computer the night before every night. And your family says, "Hey, uh, does Dad still live here? <laughs> is he ever going to reintroduce himself to his wife or anything like that?" Folks, no analyzing the markets the night before. As a matter of fact, using my my uh, my, my strategy, I come into the uh, into my office at around uh, eight thirty in the morning, eight thirty quarter to nine. I take a look and see what's going on in the market. I check the news real quick, just scan these things, and I pick a position up or down. We we're not going to do do any naked high risk positions either. All right, we're always going to buy first and then sell. You're only going to uh, be exposed to what you put into the market. Now, I will say this: in any any webinars or any any involvement that you have with us, you need to take it in its entirety. And I'll tell you why. I, every now and then, you know, you get somebody they they poke at the freebies and they they go in for this and they go in for that, and and that's fine. But then they try to apply them to something else. I had this situation with this one gentleman, his name is Alex, and, 
he would continue to poke in and pick up the you know his little his little freebies here and there. But what would happen is I mean, I now you know he would try and, and apply this to to other um, you know to, to other stocks. And I remember getting the email from the guy. He was in tears. I could see the tears coming through his email. He lost I think it was about eighteen sixteen or eighteen thousand dollars, pretty well his life savings. And I said to him, oh, okay, Alex, what'd you do? <laughs> At this point, he hadn't even spent a nickel here with him, but I'm still answering the guy, right? I'm still, I felt bad for him. I really do. I feel bad for these guys. I said, what did you do? He said, well, I tried your strategy uh, and, I, and I applied it on WMT. I said, Alex, what's WMT? I know it's Walmart. Why, why are you there? Whoever said anything about Walmart? He said, well, my friend told me. I threw my hands up. I said, hey, what can I say? You know, you got to go back to your friend about that one. I, I don't know. I don't follow Walmart. I don't care about Walmart. That's not what we do. So what I'm saying is just because the strategy is going to work on SPY, okay, doesn't mean it's going to work on anything else. And I tell you this because every now and then I do get people asking this question. Oh, can I apply it to this? Can I apply it to that? Well, I don't know. You're on your own. <laughs> okay. All we do is look for that simple way to make money every day. That, that's our goal. Simple way to make money. Okay. Uh, if you want to know more, all right, daytradespy.com is, is actually where, uh, where you need to go. And we've been mentoring clients worldwide, and we're now in our eighth year doing this. So I don't know. I think we're doing something right. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, we've been here for a long time. So uh, I think that's a good thing. So um, let me see. I think there's some questions on the board here. I don't know, uh, Renee. I don't know if I'm getting the questions or not, but let me just kind of go over this stuff here because I do want so I have some I have some giveaways for people here. All right, I do have some giveaways. Okay, I do have some questions here. Okay, I got I got the questions. Uh, up. Okay, sorry about that. I want to know. I want I want you to know this because I want to have a big thank you for those of you who have joined us here and have stayed with us. So here's here's all I need you to do if you're interested. If you want to know more, book a one-on-one -on -one introductory session with me. All you have to do is go to the website, and I'll show you right here, uh, daytradespy.com. Right here, it says Talk to Hugh. Click on this little button here. Up comes my calendar. And just put your time zone in. And then uh, hit this, and then you'll get my calendar for the next couple of weeks and just book, uh, book a session in here. Okay, but you better do it quick because we do fill up very quickly. So let's say tomorrow I've got three three openings here, one, two, fifteen, six p.m. Eastern time. So book it in, you get a fifteen to twenty minute free session. Also, I want you to um, uh, consider if you're interested in learning more, because obviously there's a little bit, you know, more than than what I'm just saying here. Things aren't as simple as all that, because you do want to see where the propensity of the directions are going to be before you actually place trades and trying to get a you know get a good get a good feel for the market. But we've got the basic and the ultimate training courses. We've got the inner circle. We've got my trading room, live trading with the pros and more. So we have a lot of stuff. All right. We have a lot of, a lot of things. We have a lot of things to, to provide for you, a lot of services that, uh, that you would actually benefit from. And whether you are still perhaps working for a living, we have something for you there too. For example, we have the pick of the day. Very easy. This here, for example, is is a uh, is, is a pick that we send out that we are interested in trading we are not licensed to tell you what to trade but we can tell you what we're looking at trading now this one's actually kind of cool it's actually it's actually anchored in time just like I showed you I showed you that earlier here uh, in, the, in the session here it's anchored in time so the so the thing here is to, is to get in at the market open when the bid ask spread settle in immediately following uh, followed by a good to cancel order and in this case, put up a 5% net profit target. Well, I like to use a 6 or 7%, give the broker a point. I walk away with 5%. There's no shame in that. And, um, and then just uh, sit back and relax. And these are all by subscription, okay? These, these services are subscription. So you get the email somewhere around 9 o'clock in the morning for that one. Now, here's what I'm going to give to you for being here, all right? And then we'll get to the questions. All you have to do is this. I'm going to give you the following. I'm going to give you the ebook, Kick-Ass Spy Options with Trader Hugh. This stuff is absolutely solid gold. Hugh's Tales of Triumphs and Tragedies. This is actually a cool ebook. I put this together because I had all these little stories with uh, with different people that I had coming through my my uh, my, my website here and, and, and doing one-on-ones with these people. And some of these are pretty heart-wrenching and others are, are absolute, um, are absolute uh, great stories. All right? 
my little guide to money management, I think by far everybody should get that, and I'm going to give that to you for free. Because if you don't have good money management techniques, you have nothing. And also, here's another ebook that I had written. Actually, it's the very first ebook. I made a quarter million dollars in one month, which actually has nothing to do with spy options. <laughs> but I thought I'd, I'd include that as a freebie for you. It's actually a swing trade. And now I think you'll really like that. And also, another special gift I'm going to give you a free session on our live trading with the pro session, either on a Tuesday or a Thursday. That's when we have them Tuesdays or Thursdays, 9 20 Eastern time till about 10 30 or so, depending on what's going on. Uh, and I admit that once we start making our money, you know, once we make our money, we don't really stick around for long. We just kind of stick around. All right. So live trading with the pros, Bert and Bob and myself, every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Now, you got a couple of weeks to, to let us know that you want in on that. In other words, don't come to me in two or three years and say, okay, I want that session now. So just, you know, you have, you have two weeks to let us know. Now, here's how you get this. You go to our uh, website, daytradespy.com, and you just click this where it says, Hugh, send me this stuff. Okay, we did this just for you. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna have one week. All right, I'm gonna keep this up here for about a week, maybe a little longer. So don't, you know, don't, don't, you know, hold off. Like, get in here, get your name on here. All right, and and get the stuff that I'm gonna give you, and then I'll show you how to uh, get registered for the uh, live feeding sessions and whatnot. So, all right, now let's get to some questions here. Okay, Vernon, seems as though option commissions must be very, very low to make any significant money on such small options moves. Uh, actually, I will, I will. there's going to be a bunch of questions here. I don't know if that applies to me or somebody else. Um, depending on how many options you trade, how much money you put into the trade, you can make some serious money in this thing. Generally, for me, with what I pay in, in commissions, I, I consider uh, one point to be um, – to be commissions. So I'll shoot for six, seven percent. If I keep five, I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. So that's that's not that's not a bad price. Okay. That's not that's not too bad. All right. Uh, okay. Let me just kind of go through some of this stuff here. Okay. All right. Let me just go through some of these questions. Uh, I'm Dennis from Singapore. Good to have you here. All right. Oh, those are this morning. Okay. I mean, you know what? I got a whole list of questions here. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the ones that are this afternoon. I apologize for that. I'm just kind of uh, going through through these questions here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. 250. Those early spy trades, one commission's cut into your profit and loss, say a dollar a contract. When you work out the numbers, it's it's not that bad. Okay. It's It's not that bad. And I think, uh, Michael, what you should do is get together with me off, sort of off camera here, and we'll, we'll go right. I'm trying to get through some of these questions because we only got about another couple minutes here. But the commissions are, you know, they can come in. But And I will also show you, by the way, that's that's the bare minimum, 6%, 6-7%. I will show you how to really ramp that up. Okay, we do have a, a way of ramping that up a lot more than that, too. So, uh, okay, so, yeah, you have to have tools. Uh, so you're not going by the seat of the pants. Uh, is there a 25k amount minimum size to day trade options? That's a question that comes up a lot, and I know we're running out of time here. The question is, let me just get this question here, Renee, and I'm sure you're you're sitting there waiting for me to to uh, to, to to hold off on that. Okay, you do need twenty five thousand dollars in your trading account to day trade. However, if you don't have that, I believe the law says something like you can uh, go in and out round trip three times in a five day period. So what? That's fine. Or what some people do, they simply open up a cash account, and then when you have the money in the in your in your account, the cash, you can trade that pretty well all you want. You just have to wait until they settle the next day. Usually, you better check with your broker to make sure that is the case for the for your broker, and then you can trade as much as you want. There is something else that other people I know uh, have done, and that is they will open multiple accounts, so they'll just keep rotating. They might be in Think or Swim for three trades and then after their three trades they flip over to options house and maybe to e-trade or something so then by the time they make their rounds they're back at think or swim and they're good for another three trades all right so a lot of these details folks uh wit thank you very much wit nice voice for radio should be sports announcer and they're out of the gate okay okay melanie good to have you on here uh, i'm just going through some of these questions Okay, you know what? A lot of those questions, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to email me, all right? 
uh, email me and I will get those to you because I want to wrap this up. Folks, make money the old-fashioned way. Buy low, sell high because that's really what it's all about.